So hello everyone, it's Zyant again, and this is Assassin's Creed 3 multiplayer on PC. Surprisingly, there were more people playing PC on AC3 now than there were when it released. I got into several different games within 30 seconds, and back when it released, if you were watching the streams back then, it was a minute, two minutes, it was some astronomical amount of time that I was just sitting in the lobby waiting for shit to happen. And all told, this gameplay you're watching here is the best play I have done in Assassin's Creed 3 multiplayer. Now, I died 10 times, I get 12 kills, but I get over 7,000 points. And back when I started this game, I was lucky if I got 3,000. And I don't know what it was. I think it was just the fact that the map was small and I got into the groove. I, I played two games prior to this that I will be uploading to this channel as well. But it, it, it something felt right and there's a another player in here called icky ikky he was he was a lot better than i was by several degrees but it just turned out that he did had an off game and i managed to get up in it and i'm writing articles on toptiertactics.com and please visit that if you haven't already it's at the bottom of the screen there about what it's like to be a noob at assassin's creed multiplayer and this is very much a newbie gameplay those of you who are new at this game will see like this knife here such a worthless night. There was no reason to do that. And yet I did it. Because I was feeling ballsy, I guess would be the reason. But you'll you'll see a ton of mistakes. And it was in this game and the couple prior that I was finally learning how to stun. And one of the biggest mistakes that I think new players make is they think that stunning is just something that happens. It's something you go around just hoping that will work for you. And it's not. They have to know you're not there. They have to know you're not the pursuer. They have to. You have to know that if you're just going to run up and stun someone, you should probably have a smoke bomb, probably have knives, probably have something to incapacitate. And I get a few honorable deaths, and I get a few contested kills in this match, but at the same time, I'm thinking, you know what? I'm still doing okay. This is... I was watching myself play, and as I was playing, and I was thinking, some of these plays I'm making are actually really good. And not to toot my own horn or anything, but I had watched, I've been watching Wings videos. And I've been watching them fairly closely, especially the newer ones where he's trying to shake off the rust. And I'm thinking to myself, looking back, if I look back at my own gameplay, what can I learn? And the primary error that I make is aggressiveness. I am far too aggressive. There's parts of Assassin's Creed multiplayer that certainly you can be aggressive, and in a map like this, that's small, where everything is compressed into a very small area, you, you have to be aggressive, you have to move quickly, you have to do things with a very, a very decided air about them. But at the same time, there's, a, there's always a time to be passive, a time to watch your pursuer, a time to watch your target, just to see how they're going to play. Because if you go around just hoping that your target's going to appear, that he's not going to, first of all. Secondly, when he does appear, you're not going to be prepared. And that's one of the things about Assassin's Creed multiplayer that has always fascinated me is that you have to think like an actual assassin. You have to think, you have to watch your targets. You have to hope that they do exactly what they're not supposed to do and that you, even the most minor mistakes, will get you killed. And these mistakes could be anything from throwing a knife at the wrong time, wasting a smoke bomb, which you'll see me do a few times, Picking the wrong perk combination, or just being in the wrong place on the map to accrue traffic. And that, I think, is my biggest weakness. And the biggest weakness a lot of new players will have is that they don't know the maps, first of all, but even when they have a good idea of what the, how the maps are laid out, they don't know where the best place is to hang out on Deathmatch or Assassinate to accrue the highest amount of points. Certainly, learning how to stun is important. Learning what the best perk combination is for your playstyle. That's important. Knowing when to use equipment, knowing when to hit something with a ranged attack, knowing when to do all these things is important. But for but when you're trying to get the maximum amount of points in the least amount of time, which is as with any game, if you can't find targets to kill, then you're not going to get any points. And that's my worst frustration about some of these maps: that either I can't see anyone, or there's so many line of sight breakers naturally that aren't like doors or walls or anything like but that, that are part of the map itself, I find that I'm just like, where is my target? 
and I'll spend 30 seconds of the 10 minutes I have looking for this guy, losing by a thousand points, and then suddenly I'm losing by 3,000 points because there's another player who's done this longer than I have who knows exactly where to find people on the map. And of course, there's always the, oh, someone else has taken out your target, which for me is one of the most frustrating things I have in this game for me is that when you're you're like right on him, but you see that he has two, three, several pursuers, and then he dies. You're like, so you're standing right there, and all you can do is stomp his head in for 50 points, and if you're not playing deathmatch and there's more than one of you on the map, suddenly the entire match knows that you are not just a random passerby, you are a player. You are a human who wants to rack up points and not just wander around and distract people. Distractions, of course, being one of the most powerful tools of deception and assassination that we have. But if you'll allow me to digress completely, I want to talk about Black Flag and what I think new players are going to have trouble with in the future. Because I do think that Black Flag will be the biggest release that Assassin's Creed has ever had, as far as I'm concerned. They will be... it will be as popular as Assassin's Creed has ever been and it will bring in so many more new players that anyone with any appreciable experience will completely outclass thousands upon thousands of people. And I think one of the main things new players to the series will have to contend with is the way that Assassin's Creed multiplayer plays differently than a lot of multiplayer is out there. It's not a shooter, first of all, and that's pretty much all of what multiplayer is nowadays, but it's very much about subtlety. Splinter Cell is even is more about subtlety than Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed is all about the very minor movements. You have to look like you're part of the crowd. You have to act like you're part of the crowd. And when it's time to actually kill something, you have to do it with the utmost amount of care. And so my main weakness, aggressiveness, and the ability to shoot my way or stab my way out of most engagements no longer applies in Assassin's Creed because you have to rely on more than just your ears and your eyes. You have to rely on more than just your reaction time. You have to rely on your mind. And that's what I think AC Multiplayer has on multiplayers, other multiplayers out there, is that it's a thinking man's game. Splinter Cell is a thinking man's game, but not on the level of AC Multiplayer. Because it's they're asymmetric teams, right? So it's different play styles depending on where you are on the map. And it's different playstyles because the classes are so different. But when everyone has a fairly even playing field, somehow Ubisoft has managed to create a huge skill gap. So the best players completely outclass the average players who completely outclass the new players. And it's only on rare occurrences like the gameplay you're watching right now that new players or average players, and I think I'm somewhere in between the two of those, actually succeed on a grand scale. And the best players pull off the most impressive kills consistently, not just because they have the experience in the game, but because they have an innate sense of what it means to be stealthy, of what it means to act. Because that's what this game is all about. It's an acting game. It's a game in which you have to think like your enemies, act like an AI. You have to forget almost everything you learned in single player and, and relearn all the mechanics for multiplayer. Because at the end of the day, you are competing against other human beings. And these people have brains. They're not, they're not computers and anything like that. They think. And so you have to outthink on every single detail, the big and the small. You have to be better than your competition even more so than in something like Splinter Cell, in something like Call of Duty, something like Battlefield. And so as this video winds down, I want to put it to you guys at the top tier tactics and my own channel. If you've played Assassin's Creed multiplayer, what's your best game been? Because in the history of my playing Assassin's Creed, this is by far my best game. Not because it was I did anything spectacular consistently, because I did individual things really, really really well. There were moments in this match where I really felt good about how I was playing. Did I make a lot of mistakes? Of course I made a lot of mistakes. But in those moments, I felt as though I was playing like Wingspan TT, the fourth best commentator on YouTube, because I was able to assess my competition and make split-second intelligent decisions on how to best assassinate my enemies. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and in the comments below, please feel free 
to share your magical Assassin's Creed multiplayer moments and what you think will be the grand opening of Black Flag, both in multiplayer and in single player, because I will be bringing you coverage for both of those on my own channel and right here on TopTierTactics.com.